Well, hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. I got another project today. My tiller quit pulling. Got to see if I can't put a belt on it. I try to give a little bit of advice when I can. And the advice today is I got the two most important tools when you're working out in the heat. I got me a good chair to sit down in, and I got a fan blowing air on me. We're going to see if we can put this thing on without having to take all this stuff loose. Got to be able to figure out some way to do it. Sometimes you just have to think outside the box a little bit. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but I try to pay attention to what other people do because it might help me out one day. Years ago, I had a good friend. He had an old, we called it standard shift. It's a manual shift uh, Jeep. And he was trying to cross a, cr a creek and he got water in it and he drowned it out. And he was smart enough, back in them days, you didn't have all these safety switches and stuff you got now. But he put that thing in gear, let off a clutch, <laughs> turned the key, and that battery would spin the motor and it would spin the tires. And he and he pulled that Jeep out of that creek by using that battery. But now the only thing was, he run the battery down. Well, this guy happened to have a chainsaw in the back of that Jeep. And he had a few wrenches and he took the alternator belt to loose and took the bar off of that chainsaw and cranked that chainsaw and got up under the hood. And he pulled that belt up and put it on the pulley on that chainsaw, made sure it was turning the right way. And wah, wah, wah. And he sprung that saw, pulling on tension on that belt and turn that alternator till he charged that battery back up. And in a few minutes, <laughs> he got in there and cranked, hit that key, Vroom! that baby fired up and drove out of the woods. That's what you call thinking out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been doing a little thinking. I went and come in an old piece of tri-line string and I'm gonna take this belt and get it close down there. And I'm gonna put this tri-line string through there and tie it off. Well, I can maybe pull it through that real tight spot. That's a mighty small crack right down in there. And yeah, we gotta try to get this belt through. I don't know if we can do it or not. We're gonna give it a try. <laughs> the only thing is, I ain't got a bit of strength. <clears throat> it slipped in there. Now if I can just get myself untied. <laughs> well, I got it through the real little bitty thin part. <laughs> Wasn't no hill for a mountain climber. <laughs> now if I can just work that belt around and get it on them pulleys, we might be in business. I got it on there, and now I need to set the tension on it. Hey, you ain't moved yet, have you? <laughs> I tell everybody, you about ready to move, I call them so much. <laughs> uh, look, I got this belt on, but I can't figure out how to tighten it without an extra hand. If you could help me a minute, if you ain't too busy. Okay, all right, thank you. Bye. I hear the cavalry coming. The cavalry has arrived. <laughs> well, you adjust the tension on these belts. There's a, a 9 sixteenth right back here. You loosen it up, and this piece will slide up and down. See, there's the bolt head. It just fits in that groove. You adjust it, so when you move this handle right here to put it in here, it's got a little wheel on the bottom that catches under here and holds it in place. So you just have to adjust it to the right height now. So if you ever find yourself in a tight where you got a little bit of space and you got to try to get a belt through there, go get your fishing tackle and get you out a piece of trot line. Lasso that belt, <laughs> get on the other end, get a good wrap on your hand and just ah, pull that joker on through there. That's the kind of stuff you won't find in no manual. <laughs> I had a little bitty narrow place 
that I had to get that bell through in order for things to come out like they should. It got me to thinking there's a little bitty narrow road that we got to travel if we want to get to heaven. There's a big wide road that leads to destruction. And we all gonna have to make that journey one day. And my prayer is that you'll be traveling that narrow road with Jesus by your side on your way to heaven. And always remember folks, whether you're a worker plate, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick Outdoors. <laughs> See y'all.